Welcome to Agco Aviation. On the 19th video, I discussed the floorboard and the firewall of my Legal Eagle XL build. Today, I want to discuss the start of my landing gear build. The first thing I must mention, I've heard many argue about the 12 degree angle called out on the plans. If you don't build your fuselage to the 24 inch wide, as Leonard did, there's no way the 12 degree angles could ever be accurate. Every fuselage will be different based on the width of the fuselage and the size of the tires that you're using. The two important measurements are, first, the center line of the tires at six inches in front of station number two, or basically even with the front of the leading edge of the wing. This should help from nosing over while on the ground. And the second important measurement is 57 and a half inches from the tip of the left axle to the tip of the right axle. Also note, the length of the landing gear and other pieces will vary based on these factors as well. With that being said, just remember the measurements I mention are just as a reference. In other words, the numbers I use would only work if your fuselage was 22 and a quarter inches wide as mine is, and you're using black max tires. I started by making both the rear quote unquote one inch legs coming from the rear gear fittings. These are 90 degrees from the 3 8 bushing material. I drilled a 3 8 inch hole through a couple of scrap pieces of 5 8 tubing left over from the fuselage, then trimmed the edges smooth. I bent those edges around a slightly less than 3 8 drill bit to give it the curve to hug the bushing material and welded them. Once welded, I drilled out the center to allow a quarter inch bolt to pass through. Okay, one down, nine more to go. Before I started the next two pieces, the gear legs, I built a simple little jig to hold the axles, or at least its location. Remember, we know the width of the tips of the axles should be at 57 and a half inches. I measured the amount of the black max axle that protrudes from the three quarter inch by 062 tube that we will be welding up soon and subtracted both sides from that leaving me with 49 and a half inches. I took a piece of angle iron and cut it to this length. Now I had to figure out how to suspend it where the axle center line would need to be. I had a scrap piece of one before and cut a notch from each end. I laid the angle iron and three quarter inch tube in the groove to figure out where the center line would be. I had strapped the fuselage to the sawhorse to keep it level and from moving. Then I measured how far from the floor the center line of the axles needed to be. My scrap on the floor was too short, so I got creative and made do. I cut the length of each leg of the stand and used a scrap 2 before to hold the stand together. Now I had the exact height needed and the exact width my tubes needed to be. I just needed to make marks on the floor where the leading edge of the wings would be located and move the stand to those marks. I started with the fuselage center line at the 24 and 3 quarter inch mark, the center of the angle iron, and then made sure to double check each end to a centerline point back on station three. This will make sure your bird will taxi straight, or at least I hope, making sure that your axle centerline is square to the fuselage. Just be careful you don't move anything from here on out. I double check these location points frequently. So here's how I drilled my holes and found the correct angles. The first thing I did, I drilled a quarter inch hole, a quarter inch from the end. With a quarter inch bolt halfway through the tube, you can then place the other end of the leg at the edge of the angle iron. 
Having a helping hand would be helpful here. I just used something to hold it in that location. Blue painter's tape worked well. And then I drilled through the front side of the tube, holding the drill square and level. Voila! You have the correct angle drilled. I transferred these locations and repeated for the leg on the other side, and then drilled these quarter inch holes to 3 8 inch for the bushing. Finally, trimming the end and hammering it around a drill bit to get ready to weld. Then you shape the bottom the same as we did for the fuselage. For my fuselage, measuring from the bottom of the leg, the front hole was 22 and 5 sixteenths inch, and the rear hole was 23 and an eighth. As I said earlier, don't get hung up on these measurements or the angle. Just make sure the placement of the tires is in the correct place. I've been super busy on another project, an off-grid, well sort of, cabin for my mother-in-law. I may make a new homestead video about that someday. We'll see. Anyways, I apologize for the delays. With this particular part of my build, I had many questions of how I was going to make it happen. And there wasn't a lot of info out there on how people built their gear, or at least I couldn't find much. So I wanted to get this video out there if someone else was in the same boat I was in. I'm sure there are other ways to do it, but this is what I came up with, and it seemed pretty simple to me. Hopefully, I'll get the gear finished soon, and we'll update you then. Especially if I need to amend this video in any way. I don't think so. The pieces are laying as they should so far. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and hopefully found some of the info helpful for your build. And if you're on the fence about starting a legal legal build, Hopefully, I've shown you just how easy it can be. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe to my YouTube, Odyssey, or Rumble channel. Thank you, and be safe.